guys. It's my closet, my second closet, okay? Listen, I just like to shop a lot. Capitalism is undefeated. That's right. Now, you may be wondering, who cares? I guess I don't. It's a very slow news day, but I do think it's hilarious what uh, what gets revealed. You know, a lot of these uh, influencer.tms uh, love to embrace socialism, uh, communism, uh, they're Bernie bros. Um, they want to wear tax the rich shirts and, and then they talk about all this kind of stuff. But behind the scenes, they're just grifting. They're making millions off of people that maybe actually believe in, let's say, Bernie Sanders' policies. But Bernie Sanders, a lot of his fame was because it was a meme. It was profitable to uh, associate yourself with him. You're able to grift a lot of money off progressives. Um, like the idea that Hassan, Cenk Uger's kid, uh, or nephew or whatever, who's also a millionaire, he's up there on Twitch talking about eat the rich. Like, are you joking? He is the rich. Uh, Nico Lull is a different uh, kind of story, though, because... She's actually, and by the way, no hate, no disrespect. Uh, I do think this is more about capitalism versus communism and socialism and, and uh, than anything else. Because, of course, capitalism won. Of course! Of course! Now, there was a video released today. I thought it was uh, a nice little juxtaposition. You could see a sub-optimist tweeting out just a passage of time in over one year, you know. March 20th, 2020. Okay, Boomer. Yep, a video that was viewed millions and millions of times. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved Bernie. Then, how rich and delusional do you have to be to send me from the front gate to gate one? Because that's where you take deliveries. It's a key, lady. I've given you back your key. And today... My $2 million apartment tour. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. <laughs> it's real. Capitalism is undefeated. Undefeated. A lot of other people taking notes. Poe's Law, Tax the Rich. There's a $2 million apartment. There's Bernie, $2 million apartment. There's my tweet. Everybody kind of noticed at the same time. Now, this is somebody who's relatively, um, you know, a small footprint. You know, they've been able to uh, kind of parlay their viral fame into, I don't know, about 70,000 YouTube subscribers. Um, and But now, since releasing their $2 million apartment tour, all those communists that followed her because she was a Bernie bro are jumping ship. Here's her Twitter handle. No, sorry. Yeah, Twitter. Somebody with 700,000 followers on Twitter. And here's Twitch. Now, maybe this is just some sort of bot purge. I don't know, but it sure seems like, you know, somebody who's averaging, you know, 500, three to 500 new a day, losing 1500, 600. Today is already down 220, probably going to go down even more. Oh, no, it went up. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess I'm surprised. Now, this is somebody who also got locked up for putting their hands on somebody. Again, everyone makes mistakes. Um, you know, I don't want to... You know, I think if somebody does their time, you know, moves on, um, you know, you've got to forgive them. You can't just keep throwing something in their face. Uh, but interestingly, this was never really put out there. In fact, this entire my story was one of the most hilarious things I've ever read. Uh, in my opinion, um, Nicola was 100% at fault. 100%.
Now, does that mean her boyfriend at the time was the perfect person? Probably. No, it doesn't. And they probably weren't. Um, you know, and ultimately, does somebody like Nico Lull have to deal with uh, people, you know, constantly commenting on their looks and things like that? Yeah, probably. That sucks. That's why I don't want to be too, like, too mean about it. You know what I'm saying? But I do think that it's hilarious. And then let's just take a look at the video. Let's not, like, you know, I'm not going to watch any of it because I'm sure she'll try to um, uh, spread my wealth by claiming it. Currently has 740 down votes to 1.3 thousand up votes. $2 million apartment tour. This is one of the silliest things I think YouTubers do flex. Um, I, I think that for somebody who relies on, let's say tips, subscriptions, donations, uh, Patreon, or in my case, subscribe star, even if you were doing well, otherwise, I just think it's cringe to flex. Uh, and, and it's just bad business on top of that. Let's take a look at the top comment one hour ago. Socialists will never understand that their icons use them to protect themselves. Imagine becoming the thing you were crying and pandering about. A rich, stuck-up boomer. Not against a $2 million apartment. That's dope. Just against the hypocrisy. What a great example of socialism. Lenin would be proud. Being a social media socialist is incredibly profitable. Ask Hassan Piker. Of course. Everyone knows that. That's like part of the reason that's so frustrating. A lot of these like grifters, like, you know, uh, they, they pretend to be communists while taking tons of super chats on every and every stream and not not redistributing that wealth, not pr providing their product for free. Um, you see, uh, oh, when you have not Bernie over, he'd love this place. What happened to tax the rich redistributing all that wealth to a new apartment? Nico. Tax the rich. Also, Nico, by the way, aren't you a socialist? What about living like the proletariat? <laughs> Become famous for being a socialist. Now brags about how rich she is. Yeah. I mean, stunning and brave. She would let, she should let 20 homeless black men move in there with her for the sake of equality. <laughs> you forgot about eat the rich very quickly after acquiring money. Yeah, obviously. Wine fridge, unused. Coffee machine, unused. A lot of kitchen storage, potentially going unused. Bathtub, unused. Amazing view, scared of heights. My bedroom uses three, four times a week. Closet, literally the only room she makes use of. Jake body scrub, unused. Steam room, unused. AKA, oh, stream room, donation room. The irony of following up her viewers with so much free stuff by saying, I like to shop a lot. Then showing a second walk-in closet full of clothes. It definitely appears more like someone staying in a super expensive hotel rather than living in an actual home. I mean, I don't know. Real estate, she probably lives in California. It's probably expensive. I just think it's hilarious. You know, eat the rich, all right. I mean, hey, congratulations on your all of your success. It looks like a very fine apartment. I mean... Actually, it really doesn't look that good for $2 million. I mean, I guess the view is probably nice, but it doesn't really look that nice. It doesn't look like, I mean, it looks like somebody's first apartment. But hey, I guess you have pop vinyls, so remember to like and subscribe. Hey, speaking of which, I love capitalism, and that's why I appreciate all of you. One thing that you can do to support the channel is clicking that red subscribe button down below. And there's also a subscribe star in the description, which supports me directly and is immensely important. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.